welcome back to my channel and welcome back to episode two of the Living Alone Diaries. I wanna say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite. I hope you guys are enjoying this new little series and if you haven't already seen episode one I will leave it linked down below. I feel like this episode is going to be extremely long. My plan with this series is either I can just vlog one day and I could have like 50 minutes worth of footage or I could vlog like four days out of the week and I could end up having like two hours worth of footage and I'll just put it all into one episode. I'm starting this episode off with a big fat haul because I basically had a little bit of a dilemma. I assumed and maybe I assumed wrong that when you redirect your mail I thought it redirected parcels as well I didn't realize that it was just like post so I thought instead of changing my address with each individual company I was like okay I'll just forward all my mail to me because then if I'm only here for six months and I know my mum's gonna stay there for the foreseeable I don't have to bother like with changing my address again so I thought I forwarded all my mail and then I just wasn't getting anything and I was like this is so weird because brands are messaging me saying have you got it and I hadn't so I was like oh god I've, I've forwarded my mail wrong it turns out it was actually still going home because I never forwarded my parcels I only forwarded my post and then I rang my mum and I was like, mum, by the way, do I have parcels? She went, Anna, you've got so many. So bless my mum, she's boxed them all up for me, like massive boxes, and she has posted them all to me and I'm gonna open them. I'm not gonna lie, I think in these boxes there is about 30 parcels because I've been moved out about a month and a half now is it a month and a half by the time this vlog goes up and yeah i just haven't had anything sent to here other than stuff i've ordered so i'm excited to open it all i don't know if i'll include it all in this vlog i'll include as much as i find interesting when i'm editing it back but i do have a lot of stuff and mum said which is gonna make me cry atticus keeps saying that he misses me and i was having some really bad down days and i rang my mum and then she texted me saying atticus has put something in the parcels that he wants you to cuddle when you miss him and i'm just like oh so i'm really like yeah I'm gonna cry probably. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started with episode two. Okay, so we have got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes here to open. The first one here is from Donut Time, which I'm guessing is like a little Valentine's Day donut present because it says sending love, uh, which is gonna be fun because I'm single on Valentine's Day. I've been single every single Valentine's Day of my life. So yep, just another normal day for me. Not gonna lie though, I have ordered myself flowers and I'm very excited about it as well. Ooh, oh, this is so cute. There's a little red rose on it. And it says love you do much and then hey Anastasia happy valentine's enjoy your donuts and rose here's a 15% off discount code for your followers too oh so you guys can use the code love anna 15 if you want to get 15% off your donuts at donut time oh my god this is so cute oh my god i hope these keep till valentine's day because i'll just save them oh they're little heart shapes oh my god they're beautiful okay i don't really want to pick them up uh, because i just want to save them in here but i've got one chocolate heart and then one pink heart donut with like two little oreos on it thank you so much if they keep your valentine's day which i feel like they will i can save them until then so i'll just pop that over there thank you so much donut time that's so lovely i have no idea like how my mum has packaged these up if she's put more than one parcel in each i just got no idea what she's done she just said okay i'm just gonna take it all to the post office so what do we have in here oh this looks like a valentine's day box as well i mean it might not be but it really does look like it wait this is so cute what it's like a little white tray oh my god a little candle tray but what on oh my god you're kidding guys look at this mirror oh my god this is gonna look amazing in my bathroom oh my god thank you so so much oh my god this is so lovely thank you so so much and then there's also in here their brand new foundation their primer that is so exciting i cannot wait to put them out we have got another one here i'm gonna take it then the ones in these small boxes mum just like wrote over the address if that makes sense i will give her one thing she has done this up so tight oh my god oh <gasps> Physician's formula. I'm being spoilt here. Are you kidding? Let's get it open and see what I've got. That little bag is so cute. Oh, just a little note from Physician's formula to say happy new year. Whilst last year was difficult for many, we're hoping 2021 brings a little bit more joy. Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh, it's a little box of all of their best sellers. This is the reason I love Physician's formula. Their butter bronzer is incredible. And we have got a little clay mask, but I am most excited about this. Thank you so much. That is so lovely. He knows that Rapunzel's my favourite Disney princess and every time I'd go into his room I'd always sit and cuddle this toy. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sit her there behind me. <laughs> so that when I'm sad I can cuddle her. Oh my god. Oh, he's wrote me a letter as well. <laughs> Mum's put on the back to Anna, I love you, love mummy. And Atticus has put to Anna, I love you, love Atticus. <laughs> oh, I love you both so much. 
I'm back, no more tears. Next parcel. Oh, this is from NARS. Oh my God, these are beautiful. I don't know if this is a collab with someone or, oh, it's a collab with Claudette Says. And I've got three beautiful lipsticks. And then this is a blush duo. NARS powder products are incredible. So I'm very excited. Oh wow, that is beautiful packaging as well. That is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, NARS, for those products. Oh my God. Oh my God, Sophia and Chintzia have sent me. Oh my God, I love them so much. Hey baby, hope you love this. Can't wait to see you in it. Lots of love, Sophia and Chintzia. It is their new tracksuit. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. I literally love this so much. It says his loss on the joggers and then his loss on the jumper. I will pop that on my Instagram story. Wait, what? Oh my God. Atticus has put in the drumstick squashy sunglasses that we both have. We have matching pairs and I'm guessing this could be my pair that he's found at home. So thanks, Atticus. Oh, this is a cute little box. It says fragile as well. Oh my God, guys, it's a candle parcel. I'm so excited. <gasps> Oh my God. Oh my God, they're beautiful. These are from AM Femme Collective on Instagram. We've got a little body candle. We've got a little cube candle. And then I've got this pillar candle here. This one amazing. So thank you so, so much. We are on to the next box here. And then I've got one more box underneath. And guys, after this, I'm so excited. My feet have gone really numb from sitting on them. But yesterday, I got the most exciting parcel from Little Moons. I wanted to try them so bad. I went to Tesco to do my food shop purposely to find them. And they didn't have them. And then on Instagram, I got a message and they sent me them. This one is jam-packed. So let's get into this. This is from... Huda Beauty. Oh my God, it's foundation. This has made my entire day. Oh my God. Three of the faux luminous foundations. I literally needed to buy a new foundation as well. I've got the shade Toasted Coconut Latte and Cheesecake. So they are literally three perfect shades. One for when I'm not tanned, one for when I am, and then one for like the middle stages, you know. Thank you so, so much, Huda. I love you guys. This is from LA Pacific. Oh my God, right. So this is so weird. I need to tell you guys a story about this. When me and Tanisha were in the Bahamas, there was this girl on the trip and we noticed that she had a camera with her so we were like oh she could be like an influencer she could be like an instagrammer and she was a photographer as well and an instagrammer and she took some photos of us on the beach and like professional photos and she just sent us them and she was so so lovely and then a couple of weeks ago well it was a couple of months ago actually she sent me a message and she actually is the brand owner of LA Pacific and she was like oh my god I really wanted to send you it like I've been watching you grow ever since I met you and it was so so lovely so thank you so much for sending me this and this is toothpaste and my toothpaste literally is about to run out so that is perfect thank you so much next one here i love the pink packaging this is very very fun oh norva cosmetics rose quartz facial spa set <gasps> there's a jade roller in here oh my god this is so weird me and has were literally talking about these like rose quartz rollers yesterday or the day before thank you so much i cannot wait to use that oh oh my god this is my jacket from the sid and l range this is so so nice. I love it so much. It's like a nude bomber jacket. Look how fun this is. Oh, it says Miami Beach on the back. This has been sat at my house for like four weeks, but thank you so much. I love this and I cannot wait to get a photo in it. We have got one from Too Faced. Where are my scissors? Oh, oh my God. What is this? Light My Fire eyeshadow palette. Let's play eyeshadow palette. Kitty likes to scratch eyeshadow palette and that's my jam. Thank you so much Too Faced, that is so lovely. And then last one for that big box, I have got this like watermelon box here. Oh, it's from L'Oreal. Oh my God, I love this range of stuff. I have the banana, it's the hair food, but this time it's watermelon edition. Oh my God, there's loads of lollipops on top. This is so cool. There's a smiley one, Garnier one, and then a little heart one. I've got the watermelon hair food, and then I have got the watermelon shampoo and conditioner in here as well. I used up the banana one and it was really, really nice on my hair. No way did my mum buy me this or did I get sent it? Because I was telling her I wanted this. There's no note in this box, so I don't know if my mum bought it for me or if I've been sent it because I really wanted the Revlon blow dry brush because everyone was using it and the hair looked amazing and I was like, oh yeah, that looks really good. That is all of my stuff. I'm uh, going to show you what my living room currently looks like and... I want to cry. If anybody wants to come and offer their assistance, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, Cause I now need to condense all of this cardboard down and just pack all this stuff away. Tastes like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion. That smile's gonna be the end of me.
It is the part of the video that I know you were waiting for. I am going to try my little moon. So I have got here the Madagascan vanilla flavour. I have got the honey roasted pistachio. And then the ones I'm most excited for, the Belgian chocolate. I really want to try and find the cookie dough one. So that is my mission. When I next do my food shop, I'm going to try and find those ones. They have also sent me three other flavours. But I'm going to try those over on my TikTok. So thank you so much to Little Moon for sending me these. I am so ready to try them. All of my friends who have tried them are like, yeah, you are going to be absolutely upset with them so i like kind of want to savor it like i just want to have one and then just keep them in my freezer they feel different to what i thought they were going to feel like like i don't know what i thought it was going to feel like but it just feels different it smells good as well i've got such sensitive teeth and they're so cold oh my god you could do oh this is amazing that is absolutely phenomenal where did the craze even come from like where on earth do people suddenly want these from because haven't they been out for ages mm. oh my I want to try the Belgian chocolate one. This is like, this is the one I've been waiting for. The Belgian chocolate. Here it is in the little tray. Oh, I just have such sensitive teeth. So as soon as I bite into them, my whole brain goes on fire. Mm, that is the best taste I've ever had in my life. I just need these in my life all the time. I want to make them. I saw a girl on TikTok make them. And they turned out like exactly like it. So I feel like I definitely could give it a go. If you guys want me to do that, I could try that. When I do like a three course meal series when i cook like a three course meal in this series i could definitely make the little moons mm, i'm gonna go and enjoy this now i need to go and wash my hands i'm gonna enjoy my little moon thank you so much for sending me those out i'm so happy i got to try them for you guys and i'll definitely recommend them if you can find them my mission is to find the cookie dough ones now i've had those in an hour i have got a podcast recording with Livy and evie i was actually i've got it in 40 minutes so i need to have a bit of lunch before that i don't know what to cook i want to organize today as well like i really want to organize my cleaning cupboards i think i'm going to do that later but i want to have some lunch but i don't know what to have my freezer is literally full of little moons but i think i'm gonna have some of these i found them when i was shopping in asda and they're so nice the chicken gozers i think i'm just gonna have like four of these and just pop them in the oven for a little quick snack oh my god they're done in four minutes this is exactly what i needed at the moment this is what it looks like and i'm just really not thriving with it like i don't know where anything is i need to organize it all properly i ordered a load of disinfectant and like fabric spray and stuff from amazon so i've just got loads of random bottles and everything and all i have is one little organizer that mum got me so cannot wait to organize this this is this is literally gonna be the highlight of my day try not to show you the state of the office but these are the organizers that i got they were just from amazon and it's like six little baskets in here i think but honestly it's gonna make all the difference just having it so much more organized i've also got this that we're gonna try tonight it is my star projector i'm so excited to try this we could put it in my bedroom before i watch a film i have just set up my zoom i'm about to go on with Livy and evie's so i will put in some of behind the scenes and then if the episode is out i will leave a link down below so you guys can listen to it hello you look so put Sorry. together and we're just like <laughs> stressed. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> that was so much fun i love living evie so much they're two of my bestest friends and we have so much fun every time we're with each other and i miss them so much i literally just wish they were here now after filming the episode i just crave like being with them and going on a night out this is the reality of living alone right let me show you this i was so excited about having these and i'm so confused because on the packet so put them in for four minutes put them in for four minutes they were stone cold like I, I don't, they're not meant to be cold put them in for another four minutes nothing happened ate it thought okay that's like they've been in for double the time now that should be fine it was the virus thing I've ever eaten in my life and then I had to join the podcast then halfway through I just got a lunch but out the fridge this is literally the reality of living on my own I'm really trying to learn the ropes here and um this did not go to plan so these are going to go straight in the bin and then when I cook the others I'm going to get a little bit of assistance with Haz maybe because Haz is a really good cook um and for now I'm going to have this I'm actually going to get changed in this now and I'm going to get a cute little photo and then Haz and I are filming a video for her channel and then I am going to cook some dinner I don't actually know what I'm going to have for dinner tonight I really don't know what I'm going to have yet look who I'm on Facebook time with is Atticus and I've got my doll oh you're so cute I miss you I miss you too oh I can't wait to give you a big cuddle when I see you I can't either 
Oh, love you. I love you too. Oh, everyone misses you in the vlogs, but look, now I've got a little bit of you with me all the time. Mummy's outside. Is she? I miss yeah. her too. We'll have a little catch up. Yeah. It is a lot later, as you can see, it is now dark outside and we have finished taking photos. I will insert them here so you guys can see. I love them so much and I love this cobalt tracksuit. It's so comfy. I've just come back up to mine. I am so full. We had an Indian for dinner and it was so nice. I haven't had Indian in the longest time. We had like poppadoms, we had naan bread. I had this like buttery chicken type thing with some rice and some Bombay potatoes and oh my God, it was beautiful. I've just topped up my makeup and we are about to film a video over on Haz's channel. It will definitely be up by the time this video goes up so if you guys do want to watch it it'll be up on her channel i'm very excited to film we literally haven't filmed together for months now like literally months when i come back i want to try out the star projector and then i need to edit my sunday video which is going to take me a while actually and then tomorrow is an organizing day so i'm going to organize all of my cupboards there'll be lots of time lapses i'm going to make my kitchen exactly how i want it i'm going to clean over the whole house i need to also start properly designing my office and i will show you what the room looks like at the moment it is honestly embarrassing i've basically treated that room right now as like a storage room so that you literally cannot walk on the floor because everything is everywhere it is awful and next week my like plan is to do the entire room but obviously getting furniture delivered that quickly is quite hard but hopefully maybe if i do it from ikea then i should be able to get it delivered quite quickly i'm just so impatient i wish i could click my fingers and i just had like a full office because i'm so excited but yeah gonna sort of make a out we're gonna film and then we can try out the star projector i'm so excited to see what it looks like i don't know why i was really against getting one for a while i was like no i don't need one and then now i live on my own i feel like i might find it quite comfortable fitting at night just to kind of like have that whilst I'm watching TV. I don't think I'll fall asleep with it on. I'm like that'd be a bit much but I'm excited to see what it looks like. I just feel like it's a bit more, yeah I don't know, it's just quite comforting isn't it? It is time to unbox the projector I just got back from filming with Haz. It was really fun. I'm so tired now though. I went downstairs and I thought we were going to film straight away. Turned out we just sat there for like two hours and did an Instagram Q&A instead and we just could not stop laughing. I don't know why. And now I'm so tired. My place is a mess. I plan on doing so much tonight. I'm just gonna do it tomorrow. Oh, whoa. Do I need back? Please don't tell me I need batteries. I'm gonna be really upset. Oh no, because it's plugged in. To be fair, we can try it just here because I've got a USB plug. Oh. Oh my God. Guys, it looks so good in here. Wow. Oh my God, it really is the little things. Like I knew it was gonna be cool, but I didn't know it was gonna be this cool. Look at my ceiling. Oh my God, I'm so happy. This is amazing. This is honestly gonna be so nice for me. It's just something, I don't know. Just makes it feel so much more cozy. You can change all the different colors like this. I will leave a link down below. I mean, I feel like everyone and their mother has got one of these and I'm like the last person to get one. It's so cool. Guys, honestly, this has made my entire day. I cannot wait to lay in bed with this on now. It does also come with this remote as well, which I need to figure out how to work. Oh no, it's not connected yet. I need to figure out what to do with it. But it's got all the different color modes on it. Laser mode. Nothing's happening. Never mind. I've got it working. Color mode, color mode, color mode, color mode. Look at all these different modes. <gasps> that's pretty. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. Oh my God. I can't actually see the remote though. <gasps> wow. Galaxy going on, bit of movement, bit of changing color. This, I can't believe this is my ceiling right now. Or oh, what's that? Oh, <gasps> wow. Party mode. Hello. Whoa, I love this so much. If you guys don't have one of these, you need to purchase. I will leave the link to the one that I got down below, but it is absolutely beautiful. Money well spent this. I want to say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite. That smile's going to be the end of me. I bet you taste like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. It's actually really not the morning anymore either. It is 10 to 12, so we're nearly in the afternoon. And today I am gonna organize my kitchen cupboards and I've never been more excited to do an activity in my life. Boredom is striking now, but I do have quite a lot to do today. I wanna give the house an entire clean. I'm gonna organize the cupboards. I really wanna attempt, keyword being attempt, to make the TikTok bendy candles. I wanna paint, but I'm gonna do that in the next episode because I actually wanna do like a long painting session, but I don't wanna do that today. So that will be in the next episode of the series 
series or the episode after that. I have one of the bendy candles down there, what someone sent me, but I want to make some more. I want to see if I can make some bigger ones. I do have the long candles already, but it's just whether it works when I actually try and make it. That's what's on today's agenda. And then we can cook some dinner and I'm going to have a bit of a pamper night tonight. I feel like I need to scrub my tan off and either put a new layer on or leave it until tomorrow to put a new layer on. I need to wash my hair. I've just shoved my hair up today. I'm trying not to wash my hair as much because I want to wash it less and use less heat on it. But I really need to wash it now. Like it's got to the point where it's like not looking good. I did bite the bullet though and last night I ordered some Olaplex. I don't know if you guys saw my vlogs a couple of months ago when I was talking to you about me ordering Olaplex from Amazon and it was fake. I really need the Olaplex now like I just want to get my hair in a really good condition so I bought it from Look Fantastic which obviously is a legit website so I know it's the real stuff this time. I also stuck my nails back on and they look so nice. Three of them fell off and now I feel human again. Now I've got all my nails back so I am going to sit here for five minutes just while the dishwasher finishes even though I feel like it's going to go on for like another hour um, and then we can start to organize my kitchen cupboards oh my god no before we do that i have to mention this because i honestly cannot believe the amount of controversy i have caused yes so my bread is kept in the fridge i honestly do not know why we keep it in the fridge i've just always kept it there like ever since i was little i don't remember having a bread bin like my mum's just always put the bread in the fridge because it stays fresh for longer apart from having a bacon sandwich which i don't have that often i only ever use my bread for toast so it just keeps it fresher for longer and it means i don't have to go to the shop as often honestly when i was showing my fridge not one part of me thought to myself oh my god people are going to comment on the bread in the fridge and then next thing you know a couple of days later after my video went up it is all over tiktok all over twitter one of the tiktoks has got like 500,000 views like they cannot believe that i keep ketchup and bread in the fridge it honestly more than anything just made me laugh and then i ordered a bread bin on amazon because i was like oh my god am i doing something wrong like will it stay fresher longer on the side but then i cancelled the order because i was like no i've always kept bread in the fridge and it doesn't matter like it's just my personal choice so yes i keep bread in the fridge whether that's weird or not i don't know but it stays fresher for longer so i'm just going to carry on doing it i just had to mention it because honestly i can't even tell you how many dms like i actually got like nasty dms as well saying like i cannot believe you keep bread in the fridge calling me names and stuff and i was thinking huh but anyway on that note let's organize my kitchen cupboards and i'm going to organize my fridge where yes the bread is on the top shelf. My dishwasher is still going and I have no idea when it's going to stop. So I'm just going to start filming. But this is what my cleaning cupboard currently looks like. I'm just going to empty everything out, get all the baskets and we can organise it. I don't really know how we're going to do it yet, but we can see. This is all the cleaning stuff that we are dealing with. I honestly didn't realise I had that much. Like, that's quite an excessive amount of cleaning stuff, I'm not going to lie. Um, yep, yeah, I follow after my mum. And then here are my six storage baskets. These are from Amazon. It was literally like £3 for six or something really good like that. So I'm just going to pop these in and we can see how to organise it. I don't really know what's going to go in each basket yet. It's just going to be a bit of trial and error. Okay, this is the final cupboard. It looks so much better. And this has honestly excited me so, so much. I love it. Like I've got my dishwasher tablets there, sponges, cloths, everything like that. Then I've got my washing pods. I've got some little plug-in things that I still need to use. Down here in this basket, I've got like clothes freshener, fabric freshener, air spray, Lenore Unstoppables, the flora, and some kitchen towel at the back. And then I've got all of my surface cleaner, washing up liquid, glass cleaner, floor cleaner, Dettol, everything like that. The reason I have so many of these, by the way, is because on Amazon I ordered them in a multi-pack and I didn't realise I ordered them in a multi-pack. So I now have this amount of Dettol, but at least I won't have to buy it for a long time. But yeah, this is my finished cleaning cupboard. Very, very happy with it. And now we can do my fridge. Hi, and welcome to my fridge. My fridge actually is quite organised right now, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was a lot worse than it actually is. So I'm just going to kind of like change things around. I want like a meat shelf, fruit and veg drawer, like a yoghurt and cheese and dairy type shelf. To be honest, like I said, it is quite organised. I just want to make sure that it's like perfect. fridge to be honest i'm really happy with that it looks very organized i know where everything is i've got all my fruit and veg down here and then just some tomatoes that wouldn't fit i've got my meat on there then i've got some hummus some eggs and a bit of chocolate i've got some cottage cheese some pasta hummus coke at the back i need to buy some more coke because i've mainly drank it all and then i've got my yogurts all up here with some cinnamon rolls and some cheese and then the elusive bread at the top with some wraps 
some little sandwich things, some garlic bread, and then some donuts. And then on here, we've just got mango chutney, some bolognese sauce, some balsamic vinegar, tomato ketchup, and then I've got some butter, some salsa, and then down here, I have got a smoothie, some almond milk, normal milk, and then a little can of rosé wine. A lot of people were commenting about the fingerprints in my apartment tour. I know it's so annoying because the materials of the cupboard, you can see every single fingerprint. So I'm just trying to find the best way to clean it and to maintain it. Um, but yeah, at the moment, it is quite annoying. I feel like I just did a workout. I just ripped up all of the cardboard from all of the parcels that mum sent me yesterday and then just a load of other parcels that I've had delivered. And it is honestly the longest task of my entire life. It's the one thing that I hate doing. And I think after like once I've done my office, that will be the last lot of like big cardboard that I have. I'll show you how much I've like just ripped up. But oh my God, I am knackered. I've just shredded all of that. So that will probably take me like two journeys. I'll take one box and then I'll take the other one. And then that bag there has got like polystyrene in, which I also need to take down. I just cleaned anyway and just wanted to share with you a little tip that my mum told me. So basically, when you want the kitchen or the bathroom to smell really nice, you just have to put a little bit of water in the sink and then just put a little bit of Sephora in. And you can do this overnight. I'm just doing it in the day now because I know I'm not going to use the sink for quite a few hours. But it makes the whole place smell amazing. And Sephora is so cheap as well. I have just cleaned my entire place and it smells amazing in here. It literally smells like Sephora everywhere because I've put it down all the sink holes, all the bathroom ones, the kitchen one, and it smells amazing. And the sun light is beaming in and I'm now ready to sit and edit. This makes me so happy. Just, it's just little things. I just cleaned all my bed too and put a wash on and now I think I'm going to order some lunch. I've got some changes to make on a video then I need to edit my Sunday video before I plan all of my other videos for the next like three or four weeks or so but I really want to get some lunch. I really fancy sushi which I know I thought those words would never ever come out of my mouth but I tried it again the other night and I hadn't had it for maybe like two years and I thought okay I'll give it another go and I absolutely absolutely loved it. Like I really really liked it. I don't know all the names of them yet but I like the little rolls with the cucumber in and I love, it had like a bit of salmon on top, I'm not really sure what it was. I love the gyozas and then I think I had California rolls. I think that's what they were called and they were really really nice. So I might order myself some sushi while I edit. My lunch has arrived. I got the chicken and spring onion gyozas. I then got these duck buns, which I haven't tried before, but they look really, really good. And then I got these little avocado mini sushi pieces. Very excited to eat this. This is weird for me that I crave sushi, but it looks really, really good. It is time to try and make the bendy candles. I have put water in the sink. It said just to use warm water. So I put the tap on for like 30 seconds and then I boiled half a kettle. So now it's like lukewarm. It's not like boiling hot. And then I've got these candles here. They're just from Ikea. When when Byron has tried this, they said it didn't work with Ikea candles, but these are the only ones that I have. So I'm just gonna put in three of them and then I'm just gonna leave them in here for a little while until it starts to kind of go softer. And then we can see if we can bend them. I'm really excited. I'm praying that this works. If this works, this is gonna be such a cool little trick because then I can order loads of them in different colors. Okay, update, I tried to bend one and it just snapped. So I've put some more water in, like it's boiling hot water this time. And I'm gonna see if anything happens. Maybe it actually just is. The Ikea wax because it feels very weird. Like I can't explain it. So I'm just gonna leave these for like another 10, 15 minutes and then we'll come back and see if anything happens. Guys, it's been like half an hour and it's done it again. I've got one more in here and I'm literally just gonna leave this to soak for however long until the wax melts because I've got no idea what is going on because now these two have snapped so I'm only gonna be able to use them. It's like half candles. So if this is a bit of a fail, maybe I do need like the special. Oh, that's so annoying though because I really want this to work. So I'm actually gonna order some so we can do it in another one of these episodes because I really want them. I am just sat editing my Sunday video. It will be up. It is a show me a picture of if you haven't already seen it and then I am going to get some dinner in a little while. It is a little bit later. I have just lit some candles in my living room and I am about to write down some stuff in my journals and I'm going to read some of my book. Today is actually a really good day for manifesting so I'm going to sit here. I'm going to write down some of my future goals. I got some of my crystals out. I got the ones out that my nan said I needed to use and I'm going to sit and charge them and I'm very excited. I'm going to put on some peaceful music and just have a really nice evening. It's so weird because I was just looking around at like my surroundings, like the view outside, the, the books around me, like the things I've got around me. And I really am like living my dream life, like what I really wanted to live. And like almost this exact moment I was picturing in my head like six months ago and to think that I've managed to make it a reality is very like, well, so I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna enjoy my night. I think I am gonna get a shower and wash my hair tonight because my hair is so greasy. But for now, I'm just gonna sit here and do some reading and write some stuff down make future plans.
It's a little bit later and it is a wild Friday night in the Anastasia household and I am about to make myself a lasagna. I am very, very excited for this. Lasagna is my ultimate favourite meal that I've been cooking at the moment. I feel like it looks as though I eat lasagna for every single meal and I promise you I don't. I think it's just because it's the only meal that I've shown you guys that I'm cooking at the moment. Like when I actually cook a three course meal in one of these videos, promise you I'm not going to cook lasagna. Like since I've been here, this is the third one that I've cooked and I've lived here like a month now. So I promise I do eat other food other than lasagna but it's just like a real homely meal like every time I miss home I either want to make cheese pie or lasagna so I'm gonna cook myself a big one and then I can actually have it for lunch and or dinner tomorrow whatever I decide today has been such a slow day I've literally had no energy I washed my hair this morning and I just didn't want to do anything like all I've done is lay on the sofa I've taken all the rubbish out I've cleaned I had a bath I've just had a really chilled boring day and to be honest in hindsight I should have done all my work today so I could have had the weekend off because now tomorrow I have got so much work to do but you know when you just wake up and you just don't feel in the mood to do anything like I feel like everyone's in a bit of a weird weird mindset and mood today so I just want to cook myself a nice dinner the third to all the boys has come out on Netflix so I'm actually going to watch that which I'm so excited for I've been waiting for this film to come out for so long so I'm going to cook myself dinner I'm going to sit and watch that and then I'm going to start to watch Pretty Little Lives The Perfectionist and just have a bit of a chilled chilled evening on the sofa guys I'm just saying how amazing does this lasagna look like how it's dripped down the sides all of the cheese i'm just about to get it out now because it's been in for 30 minutes and i i really 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 cannot wait to eat this here it is here's my dinner and i am gonna put something on the tv i've eaten my dinner and i am just about to sit and watch to all the boys number three and i just got some little moons out the freezer i'm honestly savoring these like because it's obviously so hard to find them i'm literally limiting myself to like one or two a night so i've got one of the vanilla ones here and one of the chocolate ones here and i'm gonna leave them to melt for five ten minutes and then we can eat them it is time for to all the boys always and forever it is the final one i've got my candle on i have got my little moons here ready to eat and me and Saf are actually watching it at the same time so we can text each other updates and our thoughts on the film good morning everyone i have just been downstairs to pick up the cutest delivery so the lockdown bakery has actually sent me has and byron some galentine's day cupcakes i'm calling it galentine's because nope i do not have a valentine i'm single as could be there's some with our names on and then there's happy valentine's day there's like a lindor chocolate on it there's oh my god these are absolutely amazing so i'm going to save these for tomorrow when i'm feeling single and lonely and i'm watching a film um and i can eat them but thank you so much honestly they are absolutely beautiful so please go and check out her page when i went down i had two cards in my letterbox i know who this one's from because this is my mum's handwriting so i'm guessing she sent me a valentine's day card oh my god oh my god this is so cool it says v to valentine's and then valentine's is crossed out when it says vodka mum you know me too well just put to my darling anastasia happy valentine's day or galentine should i say i love you love mummy and then atticus has wrote to anna love you loads love atticus Guys, that's so cute. Oh my god, I love that card as well. Thank you guys, I miss you. And then we have got another card here, but I don't recognise this handwriting, so I've got absolutely no idea who this is from. It says, I really fancy you. Happy Valentine's Day. To Anastasia, happy Valentine's Day, love question mark. Who on earth has sent me this? Mm. I think I know who sent me this. If it's not Byron or has, I actually have no idea who sent me this, but I will take it because secret admirer. Today I am getting a load of work done. I have just filmed a reel for a brand and now I've got to do some Instagram stories for two different brands. I'm so excited. One of them is literally like, I can't believe I'm involved with this whole like work thing going on. You guys, will it be posted by the time this vlog goes up? Maybe. Maybe head to my Instagram and have a look to see if I've posted it, but I'm very, very excited. So got a work day ahead of me. I've got some parcels here, but I actually ordered all of this stuff. I did a cheeky little old poly order i ordered some charlotte tilbury night cream and i ordered some odaplex for my hair so not very exciting but i will show you what i got from my poly because the stuff is beautiful i've just unboxed it all and i've got so many cool outfits coming to instagram like i'm so excited i also got some workout clothes um which hopefully i can wear when gyms reopen but i've got so much fun stuff so i'm going to try all of that on once i've finished filming the instagram stories that i need to do my work for the day is done and i am just thinking what do i have for lunch i have this sushi in here honestly it's the best thing ever i'm absolutely addicted to it like it's so good but i think i might have that tomorrow do i heat up my lasagna from last night maybe i heat up some of my lasagna no, she's not. i only just switched it on say hi everyone yeah talk about pancakes 
Did you do any cooking last night? Yeah, I cooked lasagna, Nanny. It's what I'm eating now. Right, this is what I've been doing all evenings. I really wish I took a before picture, but before I tidy this room, you could not see the floor. I've been using this as a rubbish, clothing, uh, work, storage room, and literally everything was everywhere. And I've just spent the last like five hours cleaning through all of this. I've got a bag of clothes for charity. I've got Byron's weights down there, which I don't know why I have them. I've got my clothing area that I need to fold away. And then all of this stuff is to pack away in my office when I've got like my desk and my storage and stuff. All of this over here is stuff to film with. And then over here, I've got all of my cameras, my lighting, my backdrops, my chargers for my camera, my YouTube plaques and everything. And then in the wardrobe is something secret, which I can't show you yet. I've got my plans for what I'm gonna do to the office. Now I just need to order everything and actually do it. But this is honestly an evening well spent. Like I cannot even tell you how excited I am that this room is tidy. These two pictures are up on the wall finally as well. Honestly, this has been such a good evening. Like it's so late now, so it's like half 10 and I still haven't eaten dinner because all I've been doing is cleaning. My next task is to go through all of these samples because I'm actually getting a sofa, which I'm so excited for. I'm getting my own and I'm getting it gifted and I cannot thank the brand enough. Not gonna expose the brand yet, but these are all my different samples and I need to go through them and decide what type of sofa I want and what fabric I want. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure I know what one I'm gonna go for. Um, I just need to choose which fabric I want. I know kind of what style I want in here and what shape and what color, but all these different textures and oh my God, it's just amazing. I want to stick my nail back on, it's fallen off. I'm so excited. So yeah, I cannot wait to take you on this little sofa journey with me. And then I can take the sofa with me. I just really wanted to have my own just so I know I have my own. And yeah, I'm so excited. And look at all these different samples. There is so, so many. So I'm now going to do this. I'm going to sit in bed and I'm going to edit for a while and watch some TV. And then when we wake up tomorrow, it is Valentine's Day. Or should I say Galentine's for me? I'm looking a bit sweaty. I uh, took my hair extensions out and just shoved my hair up and this is what we're left with. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I'm so single. I don't think I've ever been this single in my entire life. So I'm going to have some nice food. I've ordered myself some flowers. I'm very, very excited. So I will show you guys them when they arrive tomorrow. Good morning, everyone, and happy Valentine's Day. I am starting off my day, or just my usual Sunday, to be honest, in the bath, just having a chilled one. I watched a film this morning and now I'm going to have a little pamper before I cook some food. My flowers arrived. How beautiful are they? these I just put them in my bum bars and I've just popped all of the pampas stuff in the spare room but, oh my god I love them so much hopefully these will last because they weren't cheap I'm not gonna lie I can't believe how expensive flowers actually are but now I'm gonna sit and edit I'm gonna watch a film and then I'm gonna start preparing the food for mine has and Byron's Galentine's evening <laughs> I've just got all the food out and I will do a little montage so I can show you guys what we are cooking but we have got tortilla chips we've got crackers that needs to go over the other side actually we have got some rice we have got salsa nacho cheese and creamy avocado dip we're actually making fajitas with rice and then tortilla chips on the side and then for starters we've got crackers we've got olives we've got a cheese board and then we have got these cold meats as well and then for dessert we have got a cake i'm so excited 